Would you smoke a blunt with your son? Nah, I wouldn't smoke a blunt with my son. That's, that's a good question, though. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I done been with our parents. Would you smoke a blunt with your son? I mean, it depends on how old he is. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. What the hell did you just say? I really know if this is my last time. But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet. And I'm feeling like the richest me in <laughs> What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw the clip. You know, shout out to Dolph. Rest in peace to Dolph. He said some real, you know, you know, he's like, nah, man, I'm not smoking no blow. My, my, my son, that's not how we doing this shit. And the dude in the back, <laughs> man, man, how old he is. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to keep doing this like a lot of y'all don't realize you know weed is a hell of a drug now that y'all doing dope fiend shit and y'all think dope fiend shit is cool i'm a bond no you're not gonna no nigga you don't know you know and and i'm speaking from experience like i cut when i was young i cussed my dad out for the same shit you know, you want to smoke with me? Man, fuck you. Fuck out my face, this stupid ass shit. Oh, I was just testing you. Shut your dope fiend ass up. You want to test nothing. Because people don't realize that, you know, some of y'all, and I don't understand it. It's not for me to understand. But some of y'all, 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 y'all are dope fiends who, who are just hiding behind weed. Because when you when you get to the point where this is a rite of passage or this is something you want to do with your with your kids, that's dope fiend shit. That that's some crackhead shit right there. That, because at that point you lose all sense of order and structure and 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 and, and the difference between a parent and a child. Like you gotta understand something. Um. It's not even, you know, when, when parents back in the day used to have alcohol around their kids, it was only the alcoholics that would let their kids drink. The people who, oh, it's okay, let the baby have some, let the baby have. Uh, it was only the alcoholics that did that shit. The people who let alcohol ruin their life. The normal people was like, drinking with my kid, are you fucking crazy? Hell no. You know, that that's what that was. Uh, for the for the parents who who did drugs, it was a thing where I'm gonna do the drugs, but I ain't gonna do drugs in front of my kids. But then there was the other parents who was just dope fiends, and they'd just they'd be snorting coke and smoking weed and popping right in front of their kids. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know it's dope. It, it becomes dope fiend shit because at least in this clip, Dolph understood like, I'm not doing that shit in front of my kids. Are you crazy? Even um, there's an old clip of DMX talking about that where, you know, he did drugs. Everybody knows he did drugs. But he was like, yo, my kids didn't know I was doing drugs because I didn't do drugs with my, kid, with my kids around. I didn't do stuff like that because he knew the difference. You know what I'm saying? He was addicted. But he knew not to, you know, but, I, you know, because I remember his son was like, I need you to give up drugs. And he's like, nah. <laughs> you know, when his son was older. But he, but I remember his older son admitting that he didn't see his dad do drugs when he was younger. So taking that a step further when I say what I'm about to say. When something becomes such a problem where you think it's normal to do it in situations that is that is fucking crazy to do it in, you have you have became something different. Like just because you do something, it's like for me, it's like the equivalent of somebody who did porn. They decide they could just gonna fuck in front of their kids because it's just normal to them. You get what I'm saying? That's just no. Well, I fuck all the time, so I just need to. It, for to, for me to say that a normal person said it doesn't make sense, but when it comes to smoking weed, somehow y'all just go, oh, "Are you going too far?" No, the fuck I'm not. You know, because I know people who are parents. You know, and I've seen this happen where 
you you're a reckless driver you drive fast you want to race and the type of people who would put their kid in a car and decide to do 100 it's like what the fuck is wrong with you what the, like because the other parents or other parent in that scenario be like hey man you trying to kill my kid what the fuck is wrong with you i'll kill you and then it's like oh, i like to do it so i make the kid like to do it this bitch this is not ricky bobby you're not gonna be racing everybody if you ain't first or last no that's not how you do that but see when, when i say it in that term it becomes a issue well, for some people, because I've I've seen people who've been who drove like that and they got in wrecks with their kids in the car, and then, and that's what made them go, oh, that's why they told me to chill this shit out. Oh, okay, because that means you have a lack of self control. You know, it's kind of like um, If you're a dope boy, you wouldn't take your kid on a drug deal. But I've seen some of you dumb motherfuckers do that shit. Oh, they in the car. Like, Nigga, what are you doing? I'm babysitting. Babysitting? How you babysitting your own kid, but you want to take your kid on a drug run? What kind of shit is this? You know, it, it just doesn't, you know, some of you cats just, y'all do shit that's not normal and it's fucking stupid. But because you are doing it, you don't care like that. So, when I see stuff like that, when I see people respond like that, the first thing that comes to mind with me is you don't give a fuck about that kid. It's no way. It's no way you give a fuck about that kid. No way. No way in hell. And the reason I say that is because, and I and I and I can tell you this: like people used to smoke cigarettes around their kids and then the kids got sick kids got asthma kids got ear infections and people had to learn that i remember being in the 80s and that, that happened a lot why well, the kid got an ear infection and people started going you smoke around the kid don't you yeah it's just normal no it's not normal that shit is not good you fucking that kid up that's why the kid's in the hospital with this ear infection that's why your kid is always coughing now your kid got asthma because you, your dumb ass is doing this and it's like well i do this all the time it's like well stop fucking doing it all the time in front of your kid you know, maybe when they get it older, we can smoke cigarettes together. <sighs> maybe by the time they get older, they're going to be fucked up. Because you fucking up, up early. And you think it's okay to fuck them up early. And then you, and it, 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 you know. Because, and, and, and just, just for the record, like some of y'all who, you know, cause I've seen comedians, I've seen Dave Chappelle and I think Marlon Wayans make the joke, you know, and even um, Mike Epps, it wasn't the same joke though, you know, but they made the joke about their kids smoking weed and smoking their kids weed and taking their kids weed. And Mike Epps made the joke about his daughter dating a dude they were selling weed, so he's buying weed off the, and I, and I think to myself, you know what's weird about that? When your kids wind up with a drug problem, Oh, you gonna say is well? I just, I just smoke weed. I mean, I didn't tell them to do all other shit. But what you did was you encouraged them to do drugs. You don't get to control what kind of drugs they they might do. So when you open that door, you you, you know, you you got to be a fucking idiot to not know if you open that door. You have no idea which direction they're gonna go once they go through it. But I'm done, man. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch you on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had.